I would like to briefly speak to the entire world and make this statement. Please look for needs. If you are able to reach out and help anyone, please do it. So many things are going on right now in this world and so many people are hurting, so many people are doing without. I believe it is a necessity for us to keep our eyes and our hearts open to help others. Just the other day uh, when I was at a store, uh, there was a family in line and they were holding up the line for quite a while, to be honest. And I could see the cashier getting irritated and the uh, other other people standing in line in front of me seemed to you know, not really kind of know what to do. And I started being a little nosy, to be honest, just to sort of get an ear of what was going on. And it was obvious that um, the family did not have enough to pay their bill. They, it looks like they had groceries and some clothes and a number of things they needed um, for their 12-year-old daughter. I think she was about 11 or 12, but this young lady who was with them. And without going into much detail, because I say this not to in any way boast or brag, that's not what this post is about at all. Um, but I moved my way to the front of the line and asked the family, um, can I please help them with uh, paying their bill? And the lady just immediately broke down crying and went in to share um, some stories of some struggles and things they were recently going through. And, and again, I won't even go into those details, but all I remember is her daughter holding her so tight and just crying and thanking us. And, and I remember her mother saying to her daughter, she said it just loud enough for me to hear. She said, see, I told you that God hears our prayers. And uh, when they left the store and, you know, and I, you know, of course I paid their bill and went on and, and paid mine and everything. What was interesting to me is all of the people that were in line in front of me were saying to me, wow, can't believe you did that. I'm so glad you helped, you helped them. And I, I kind of didn't know what to do. I, you know, I would have liked to, but I didn't want to sort of insert myself into the situation. And it just made me think about, um, I think sometimes we think people are not in need just based on how they look. Because if you saw this family, and by the way, they didn't look anything like me. <laughs> I'll just say it like that. Um, and they certainly didn't look as if they were in need. Um, however, um, they were in dire need. And, um, you know, uh, there were some other health things going on with their family. And I wouldn't go into detail that she openly shared right there in the store. My gentle challenge to the world is to look for the need. Now, I'm kind of weird because I actually ask God, show me a need, um, show me how I can help someone. So when I'm out and about, I, I don't know it sounds weird, but I literally say, Lord, if someone is in need, bring it to my attention. And it's not like I have all this crazy money to throw around. I want to make that clear. But I remember being that 12 year old girl when my family was homeless, when we moved from Arkansas to Wisconsin. And I remember standing downtown with my mother um, uh, when she was asking someone for a quarter to use the phone. And so if that young girl was standing in front of me right now, what I would say to her and what I'm saying to all of you out there who are struggling and going through things, please don't give up hope. God hears your prayers. There are many people out there that are willing to help and that will give a helping hand and just hang on, continue to hang on, continue to persevere and continue to pray. And for the rest of you out there who are not in those situations uh, where you're in dire need, I'm begging you to open your hearts and your eyes um, to insert yourself into situations and ask a family, a stranger, a person, is there anything I can do to help you? I know there's a lot of things going on in this world right now and in this economy and there's a lot of division, but at the end of the day, we're all one people. And I just pray that this message spreads love. Love you all. My name is Z. Thank you for listening. Hi, everyone. This is Z again. Do not forget to hit the like, subscribe, and the notification button. Bye-bye.